Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Hope your week is off to a great start so far. We're in Acts chapter 25 today for our uh, soap devotion, our three-year read through the Bible. And we're not going to necessarily focus on a specific verse or verses today in chapter 25, but I just kind of want to do an overview of what's been going on here in the last couple chapters, and we're going to continue to see. Again, Paul is getting taken from uh, ruler to ruler to uh, stand trial to, you know, the, the Jews are accusing him, Jewish leaders are accusing him of, you know, desecrating the temple, breaking laws, um, you know, Paul again appealing to his Roman citizenship. And so he's going back and forth to these different trials. And we see similar uh, similar things that happen with Jesus. I mean, these, these rulers are coming in, they're telling lies, they can't prove their points. And uh, unlike Jesus, who, again, you know, took the punishment, did not say a word uh, unless he was directly asked if he was the Son of God, um, the Messiah, Paul, again, is trying to reason with them. He's not trying to get out of it. He's just reasoning like, hey, is this really fair? Um, and is this really the law? All right. He's appealing to them, but he's also taking opportunities. We're going to see this tomorrow, especially, but we've seen it in, in previous uh, accounts that Paul uses every opportunity to proclaim the gospel. You know, Paul's in prison. He's being shifted from one place to another, having lies being told about him. And Paul could have had this woe is me kind of attitude. Like, it's unfair uh, what they're doing to me. And that's not Paul's attitude. He's using every opportunity to give glory to Christ and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. And I think that leads us into application in our lives. We have the choice of how we are going to face difficulties and challenges in life. We can have the woe is me attitude. Oh, the world is against me. Oh, everybody's against me. Oh, my life is terrible. Kind of like that Eeyore character in Winnie the Pooh. All right. Like there's nothing good in my life at all. There is no doubt at times in our lives we have plenty of challenges. We have struggles. Like life is hard and there's no getting around that. But how we respond is what we learn from Paul and how we can apply it to our lives. Are we taking opportunities, advantages of when those things come, when those challenges come? Are we going to have a horrible attitude, a woe is me attitude, or are we gonna see them as an opportunity to give glory to Christ, to proclaim his faithfulness, and again, above all, to proclaim the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ? That is what Paul did, and we're going to see again tomorrow in our reading. He does the very same thing. So as we think about this today, I want you to think about what's going on in your life. And maybe for some of us, you know, things are going pretty well. You know, we, we don't have any major challenges right now, but we probably have in the past. And guarantee, in a living in a sinful, broken world, we are going to have challenges in the future. What is your response going to be? What is your attitude going to be? Woe is me, everybody's against me, everything is against me, or Lord Jesus, how can I glorify you in these circumstances? How can I give witness to you? How can I proclaim the gospel in these situations? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you are with us no matter what we face in life. And Lord, we know that in this broken and sinful world, we face challenges, we face hardships. And Lord, I, I pray that you would give us an attitude that seeks to give glory to you, even in the midst of difficult times, that we would have a mindset of how we can proclaim the gospel in and through these situations, how we can give witness to your goodness, to your faithfulness, to your grace, despite the challenges that we face. Lord God, remind us and assure us today that you are with us, that you won't leave us nor forsake us. Help us to learn from Paul and help us to continue to give witness for you in our lives today and every day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on your day, and may you continue to grow stronger in Christ. And, and again, I'd love to hear you know how God is teaching you, how God is encouraging you as we read uh, through the New Testament. Definitely give me a, shoot me an email or send me a text or stop by or give me a call sometime. I'd love to hear how God is encouraging you as you dive deeper into his word. Have a great day.